Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to be conducting a quad SLI test using two of EVGA's GeForce GTX 295 Plus graphics cards. And here are the two GeForce GTX 295 graphics cards from EVGA mounted in Quad SLI so let's see exactly what kind of monstrous performance we can get from this Quad SLI setup. And for the first test, let's run this Quad SLI setup through the Far Cry 2 benchmark. As you guys know, I do like this benchmark. It does give you a very comprehensive report at the end of the benchmark. So let's see exactly what settings we're going to be using today. Here are the settings we're going to be using on the Far Cry 2 benchmark today. Display quality and the resolution, 1920 by 1200 anti-aliasing 8x, direct 3D10 enabled, performance, everything set to very high, render quality, ultra high, very high, or the highest possible setting available. Let's check out the results we got from the Far Cry 2 benchmark. These are the settings we used just for verification. This is the type of analytical chart it gives you through the benchmark. So let's see exactly what results we get running on 8x anti-aliasing. Whoa! 218 frames a second in Far Cry 2 with 8x anti-aliasing. That's just absolutely unbelievable. So let's compare this to the overall averages of the three loops ran with a maximum of 193 frames a second, average of 95 frames a second and a minimum of 37 frames a second in the Far Cry 2 benchmark with 8x anti-aliasing. That is absolutely phenomenal! So let's check out the 3 Mark Vantage benchmark. Now a lot of you guys out there have been asking me about micro stutter. Some people admit it, some people shy away from it and some people absolutely dismiss it. So let's see with this quad SLI setup See if we get any micro stutter period. As we go through the benchmark here with the micro stutter, just keep an eye on the curtain. That's our first indication of any type of micro stutter. These are the markings I've seen in all quad SLI setups to date. Look at that curtain flutter. Absolutely unbelievable. Another prime indicator, as we get towards the end of this benchmark here, watch the stutter as the plane takes off. Absolutely unbelievable. There it is, the micro stutter phenomenon, busted wide open. So let's see exactly what results we get with the Quad SLI setup in the 3D Mark Vantage performance points using stock settings. Wow! 31,930 points, GPU 29,110 using stock settings. That's absolutely unbelievable. So let's push these cards a little further. We're going to overclock and run another test. We're going to run the core at 710 megahertz, the shader 1602, and the memory 1200 megahertz. Let's see exactly what results we can get. Whoa! 35,498 3D Mark score points with a GPU score of 32,015 points. That's absolutely extreme. Wicked. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, the benchmark is ended prematurely today. We did try and push that GTX 295 Plus a little further than what it was designed. Unfortunately, one of those cards failed prematurely. Uh, give us the red LED and a black screen, so uh, we couldn't push her any further. Uh, so, out of curiosity, we did try to reboot, and this is exactly what we got. Whoa! Didn't expect that graphic card to fail so prematurely, but here it is. This is the failed. GTX 295 from EVGA, 
just had the RMA approved on this, just received the email, so we're going to be sending this graphics card back to EVGA and see how quickly they can get us back up for these quad tests. So keep you posted guys, we should have another quad test out there pretty soon, and who knows, perhaps it'll be a return of the Clash of the Titans video with the GTX 295 in quad versus the HD 4870 X2 in Crossfire X, so keep you posted on that. Once again, if you wish to uh, keep up to date with the latest and greatest in PC and gaming hardware, feel free to subscribe.